Yeah. 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 Uh, I have a, a, a challenge here for James and Ashley, uh -huh. if you're comfortable being on camera. Jeez. All right, uh, the challenge here is James. Yeah. Over the years of Desert Bus, how much would you reckon you've spent on goofs? <laughs> we were just talking about this last night. <laughs> Only if you're comfortable sharing. You can you can make up a made-up number. And then, uh, Ashley, you're here to give us uh, your insights as to how you feel about his Desert Bus budget. Um, this year was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this year was... Uh... I can't believe you bought a MacBook Air for Desert yeah. Bus. Yeah. Wow. And a Ghostbuster. Okay, yeah. Do you want the actual number for this year? Or well, the number you're comfortable sharing. Uh, $700. <laughs> Is that the number you and know And what have it? you recouped on, uh, on bets? It's slightly higher than I <laughs> but not by a lot. I, I was aware this was an expensive goof year. Uh, I mean, one of them is not hard to figure out. You can you can see exactly how much Ernie Hudson charged me for that game. You know? <laughs> yes. Um, I, I mean, other than, this year was an outlier. I don't think I've ever gone this hard on goofs. No. Um, I remember um, the 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 two people who joined us and played the strings yeah. a few mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. for ham um, were some money, but everybody kicked in for that. So uh, it wasn't that bad, but yeah, this year's been a lot. The goof budget has been high, but that's fine. I love doing it. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had the Ernie Hudson like idea last. Yeah, I had that literally last year. So. So, that was in the works. Mm -hmm. The MacBook is not. Yeah, part that does of not. The, no. the MacBook doesn't count. That that was, was that for seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just a silly thing I thought would be funny. What were you gonna say, Liz? Oh, I was just gonna say like uh, that it's worth it, but like. Uh, I'm not going to compete with you, but like, to fly from LA to here. Yeah, well, I mean, that's yeah, the thing, right? Like, is it like. Wait, you've been coming yeah. on us yeah. this whole time? Yeah. yeah. How the out of town volunteers. I yeah. mean, yeah. the Victoria people are very lucky that, you know, we get to sleep in our own beds, but for the out of town people who travel here, who get hotel rooms for here, who are taking significantly more time off work, yeah. it's. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild, yeah. and thank you so much for that. Well, yeah, like broadcast and engineering is here the week before yeah. Desert yeah. Bus starts yeah. to get it rolling. Yeah. Uh, some stay days afterwards to strike. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, two and a half weeks is <laughs> not a small amount of time to take off, you know, their day job to come here and volunteer. Yep. I think if we've gotten older, our willingness to... Um, Sleep on, the floor. Sleep on the floor. I was gonna say it's gotten, oh, yeah. it's gotten lower too. Because before we'd be like, oh yeah, we've got like a, a bunk room at the hostel with bunk beds that everyone can share, and everyone's like twenty, and they're like, yeah, great. Let's do it. And now we're like, I no. Yeah. <laughs> I think that there was one year where maybe it was even my first year that I was officially here the whole time, and I shared a bed with Beige, but at different times. <laughs> we had opposite shifts, and oh I think my. it was an air mattress too. I don't like. I don't officially remember everything, <laughs> but I remember like having an air mattress. With this. And now that sounds so terrible. Like if one person got sick, like just. But I, you know, I have I have different standards now than I did then. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of something I brought up in our Desert Bus Slack, but everyone should know if you have. Uh, Corporate yeah. overlords. If you work for uh, large corporations, uh, something that I was able to do, and you you should check if you your uh, company has this kind of um, this kind of program, is uh, for the hours that I I work on Desert Bus, I can submit those as volunteer hours, and then uh, they give me money that I can donate to whatever charity I want in their their large hundreds of charities network. So for if you uh, volunteer anyway, you might just be able to get free money that you can donate either back into the charity that you're uh, um, volunteering your time for or any other number of charities. Mm -hmm. So uh, some, some companies offer like uh, volunteer days as well where you can uh, take, take the day off, but like day off of work to go volunteer at a, an organization. So mm -hmm. like, just check it out. See if see if your company office offers something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very cool. Uh, I'm very. I've had a few different jobs over the time that in the decade that I've been doing Desert Bus. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, and donation matching. That's the the other thing I. Yeah, I forgot about. yeah. I yeah. know that's big, uh, especially because this. Even though I'm here with these lovely Canadians, the charity we're donating to is in the U.S. So yeah. for those who have matching specifically in the U.S. Um, mm -hmm. for a 501c3. Uh, 
I have not always been, had the benefit that I do with my awesome employer now, uh, who is able to give me the time off, paid time off, to be able to do this. And I'm so thank you, thank you, Riot Games. Um, I am very thankful for that. So I am uh, able to be here. Yay! <laughs> I have had site volunteers from Victoria who work their full time job and do stuff on top. Which is wild because I they, mean, back they, in the day, that's what we used to do. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't take time off. I, my first year at Desert Bus, I would, I would on my way to work, I would clean the, the moon base because I was a site volunteer, and then I would work my full shift at the parsonage. Yeah. And then on my way home, I'd stop by and clean again. Yep. It was just like yep. that's just what I had to do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the first couple of years, most of us worked our day jobs. Yeah. Uh, before we we did Desert Bus and during Desert Bus. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Remember when we were young and had the energy to do that? <laughs> well, I don't know. And last this didn't year, take an entire year last to Last year, I worked my my day job while also volunteering for Desert Bus. Yep. It's it's hard <laughs> being so young. So <laughs> I know I'm so youthful. Yeah. And... <laughs> responsibility with that age. All right. I got an interesting question. Do you think the switch away from driver shifts to whatever we call the, the, the shift shift that we have now has resulted in people spending more or less individually? Because I know some people went hard mm. on their intros. I'm thinking like Graham and Andrew in, in particular probably spent <laughs> quite a bit of money out of pocket I feel like for some of their shifted. goofs. Instead of doing it for your individual entrance or your individual goof, you're doing it for a shift goof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So you think it, it's the same amount of money, but focused differently? I feel like as we've gotten older and have uh, slightly more disposable income, <laughs> sure. they've gotten, they've, they've maybe uh, increased the amount they've spent <laughs> on goofs. Yeah, yeah, grown up, grown up money, um, but also, yeah, expenses. So oh, grown up yeah. Yeah. expenses, become, yeah. But yeah, like instead of yeah, Andrew or James or whoever spending a bunch of money for their individual driver shift. They will now join forces with other mm -hmm. individuals on their shift That's and, true. and share the cost of right. multiple goofs over multiple days. I kind of like that better. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel think like it's a net positive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do feel like if that were the case, seeing what Graham's expenses were, like with the cannons and there was the, the cherry There's picker. There's the scissor lamp. The scissor lamp. Yeah. Wacky wavy yeah. inflatable arm right. two men. I feel like Night Guard's like, intro should be a lot better if there's like five of those dudes. Like <laughs> their together. budget should be way up there. Yeah, well, I mean, Andrew did have a literal band. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. One oh, year, that's marching right. band. So yeah, uh, I mean, again, this year is weird. We're not allow allowing uh, Stranger Danger in. Uh, for Versus all those other years where it's Stranger Danger. <laughs> yes! Right. Uh, so, yeah, we were limiting the Stranger Danger for, you know, uh, uh, germ reasons. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that, so I think, may be limiting some individuals. Yeah. But for safety reasons, and we all respect it, and it makes sense. I have, a, I have a related question to this. It was specific to James, but I'm gonna open it up. What do you think the top 10 best goofs we've had at Desert Bus are? Oh, geez, I'd oh, be surprised no. if I can remember 10 I, goofs. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see, what well, are the we, last we've, 10 We've touched on a couple done. good ones here so yeah. far. I, 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 mean, I think of moments, uh, James, let me, please. Yeah. <laughs> the ones where I cut off James are my favorite. The, uh, top 10 right there. Yeah, yeah, no, there, I think of like two intros uh, like when Ian became the war boy. I was gonna say, was yeah. so good and yeah, like he discovered- me. A, Yeah, oh witnessed me and then like he discovered a whole new fashion sense for himself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah. Back. Yeah, he went back. Yeah, he never went back from that. And then he sprayed like the, the silver spray oh, yeah. on his mouth and then like Later that day, I think it was Vulpin Props was in, and he yeah. was like, well, it's not toxic. It's Only when you spray it is it toxic. <laughs> oh. Instant like, feedback well. on that. <laughs> We'll yeah. That again. yeah, and then I think the other one would be the inflatable tube men, and it was yeah. mostly because Kara was driving and she like she has, has this a, specific a fear, of, fear <laughs> of inflatable tube men and was not <laughs> expecting it. And then two of them like explode <laughs> from behind her. <laughs> oh, it was so good. What is happening? Well, that was yeah. the same year. Yeah. yeah. Both of those oh, were the yeah. same was, year. Yeah, it was a good year for intros, I guess. <laughs> How to top that. Also, that year uh, that cost no money is uh, Jer cut off. Uh, Tally's ponytail. Tally's ponytail. That was that well, year too. Well, yeah. James was doing a camera interview with like a local news station. <laughs> Your face of oh, that, that moment. Is so yeah, they're, they're, they're oh, right. you reacting yeah, to that. that. It's like the greatest pog face I've ever seen. You're just like. <laughs> I, well, again, uh, nobody knew. <laughs> 
And next thing you know, Jer's running out with scissors and a ponytail in his hand. Uh. <laughs> so this didn't happen on camera, but when um, when Graham rented the scissor lift, mm -hmm. they expected me to pilot it, and I'd never done one of those before, and I needed to get it into position on the sidewalk in the back, and it's just like, because <laughs> you touch it and it starts shifting, and I, I, they're just like, yeah, figure it out, Serge. And then finally, Jason, who was trying yeah. to record the thing, Jason's like, move over, you idiot. And he just like, <laughs> grab this thing and got it. Yeah, and he like put the whole thing into perspective and then trained me. And then the only job they had me do, and I'm hiding under a blanket at the top of the scissor lift, and I've got a, an ear cue, and they're like, all right, Serge, here's your cue to bring it down, because Jason needed to shoot the whole thing. So while James is up there, or James, pardon me, while Graham is up there majestically like doing his poses and stuff like that, I'm like, don't miss your cue, don't miss your cue. Don't, like, curl in a little ball so I can bring it down. <laughs> Desert post is so glamorous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the part, the parts that you don't see, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all perfect and beautiful. <laughs> James, did you find your answer in your soul? Uh, I don't know. It's interesting because there's, there is a difference. I've seen a few people talk in chat, and I think there is a difference between goof and meme, right? Like, mm. uh, I would say a meme is something that sort of comes out naturally from the shifts, and they just yeah. happen. Gangnam Hell is yeah. a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Somebody mentioned it. I wouldn't say that was a goof because it wasn't pre-planned. Goofs are pre-planned. Um, and expensive. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes expensive. Sometimes expensive, yes. Um, God, I don't know. I really liked Hamfather. Hamfather. Yeah. 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 Hamfather yeah. is probably like my all-time favorite bit. Yeah, I think Ian got a really good one with that one. Um, and the fact that it was, it, you got to build on it every day, and there was an opportunity for more people to get involved with it, I thought that was mm -hmm. fantastic. That was a very good goof. All right, really quickly, um, yeah. I just want to jump in. There are only three minutes remaining. We haven't mm -hmm. talked about the giveaway that we have going right now. Uh, this is for the Gridlock Boston Mass Hole Edition, which is a board game, which is very cool. Set in Boston, you build roads and do stuff like that. But our giveaway has the last possible copy of the Kickstarter edition, and there's a special Desert Bus for Hope edition in there where the roads only go straight. <laughs> That's so, very good. $5 and one cent. We are pushing towards my $9 million lifetime. Uh, if you haven't already and you're interested in this giveaway, you've got two minutes. You gotta go fast. Thank you so much to Bespoke Games for this. Uh, check it out if you haven't already. And uh, all right, two, we can two go. minutes and thirty seconds to get yeah. your donation. In the spirit of Christmas, get so us to six hundred and fifty thousand. You can do it. I believe in you, Chad. I believe. We also have a challenge right now to raise nine million dollars for charity. Done. We're, cha we're challenging. <laughs> we're challenging you for that one. We're so close. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and accept L that lifetime, one. right? We're just gonna say that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. lifetime. Yes. Oh. Um, I know a lot of people are obviously in Buchamba Chan. Was, yeah. was a good one. That was yeah. uh, obviously quite quite epic. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a good one. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with that speech jammer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the speech jammer. Do you remember the speech jammer? Yeah, there yeah. was a jammer was good. lot of. That broke a lot of people. It yeah. broke a lot of people. <laughs> I really appreciate it because that was also the year that the Al Jazeera America came out. Oh, right? which was were, like one of my oh, favorite like, stories. They were so good. They were so good, and they like broadcast from the whole week from yeah. here, yeah. like cut to Desert Bus. Like we were like a big yeah. deal. This is a meme, but not a goof. But when the Al Jazeera guy filming the room and his butt taking oh. up half the shot, <laughs> so oh, the like cameraman. there was yeah. a there was a there cameraman. was a version of the poster that like sixty percent of it was obscured by camera butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I mean, that's more of a meme than. A goof, but like that's a yeah. really good yeah. desert bus memory. Yeah. That was great. I was really impressed because when oh I forget because I think he always wishes his luck on Twitter. The the oh. anchor. Oh now it's oh, embarrassing. Yes. No, it's Chat will tell me. Yeah. Um, he he did the speech jam and we're like we're gonna get him and he was nailed it because yeah. like he <laughs> has to talk with people talking in his yeah. ear all the time. That's amazing. It For was great. years, yeah. he would still like yeah, yeah. tweet at us. I'm pretty sure he tweeted. He did, uh, yes. Yeah, Alan yeah. Sends, sends us every right. year. Exactly. He's right. gone. He did. He did uh, poems for quite a while as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. Ooh, I think we missed a five hundred dollar yeah, donation. Did, yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh, thank yeah. you. We are so close to sixty-five, six hundred and fifty thousand. Oh my god! Yeah. Thirty seconds, less than a hundred thousand dollars to go. Go go go! Hundred and one dollar dono for that. Amazing. Oh, somebody's thank mentioning you. the houseboat. That was the houseboat was a surprise. Uh, I definitely. <laughs> so those that didn't watch it, we were in this studio that had a party in another room in the building yeah which were we didn't really know and these it, food came which is typical here so food came people leave to go and eat 
and we got crashed. Like these people from this other party just well, showed up. The suits. We, we, we crashed, crashed there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We did, we did a conga line. Yeah. We did a conga line through their <laughs> crashing. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> <laughs> they felt quite willing to be able to then crash us. We made their party better. And yeah, well, that's every party sure. is improved by a conga line. <laughs> and the next thing we knew, uh, there was these two ministers of the government. Yeah, of the provincial oh, wow. government. The provincial government in suits. Yeah. And. Uh, like there wasn't very many people in the studio. There was me, and I was like, "Oh, this is what we do. You got something you can auction." <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and one owns like a houseboat tour. Owned a, a houseboat company because he is like the MLA uh, in the shoe swap area of of BC. And yeah, it's wild. He, is that fancy? Is the that suits? A fancy yeah. house it's a popular like a vacation. Yeah. You know what the best part for me about that yeah. was? Really, truly. So we go through the whole thing. The auction happens. The houseboat gets sold. And I tell them that the, absolutely that part of the success of selling something or auctioning something off for high values, you have to dance. Yeah. All right. And, and so they, did. <laughs> they totally heard me. And so they danced together yep. in their suits, which I I don't think yeah. I kept a straight face through that. Yeah. Just, it, was it was amazing. Was they were such good sports. Yeah. We just yeah. have such a strong yes and culture here. <laughs> <laughs> then you must. Yes and. Your suit will not protect you here, sir. I think it was DB9. Uh, that uh, was, no, eight. It was eight. eight. Eight? Yeah. That was oh eight. Oh my god. Yeah. I had never Numbers, heard the story, story. Yeah. of the houseboat. Yeah. I just heard yeah. the houseboat. Uh, and, it went, and it went for ten thousand dollars. The only way I can five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Because five thousand Six thousand five hundred. No, because it went I think for it was five. It went for five thousand. Because five thousand is now a houseboat. That's because yeah. we started yeah. calling it yeah, a houseboat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm there that there's a no, yeah, I think it was yeah, more. Yeah, but that doesn't it doesn't matter. The fact that they danced in their suits together was amazing. It was really great. So good. Uh, oh, there's well. the uh, the gif of Alan Schaffler and uh, us yeah. dancing in the background like idiots <laughs> while he is broadcasting live across, across that America. Was, that is the broadcast. That was, yeah. that went out old, and the fact that that was in the old moon base was wild to me. Yeah. yeah. It does not feel like it was that long ago. Yeah, that's true. You've got all the costumes lined up. Where we couldn't have That's people. where you got bonked by the uh, the Nintendo, Nintendo sign <laughs> because everything was so tight together there. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, I'm assuming you're doing more important things than watching, but if you're watching, hi. We miss you. Uh, yeah. hi, thank you. Oh, hi. yep. There's the butt. No. Oh, butt. <laughs> <laughs> Poor cameraman. <sighs> there was that one year where we were, uh, we did an entire musical routine from a song that was, and I have never rehearsed for something for Desert Bus so much in my life. Oh, that was the Desert Bus 10 intro. Awesome. Oh, yeah, the, the Hamilton one that yeah, uh, Molly, Molly wrote. Yeah. yeah. It was so good. Oh, and when I volunteered to help with that, I didn't realize Aha! that when I said I would sing, I thought I was back up with mm. extra people, not <laughs> solo by not myself. Not solo. Okay. Yeah. Desert Bus for Hope again. <laughs> That was yeah. it's time for Desert. We actually yeah. have we, again. we rehearsed that. Yeah. yeah. Like, Which we've never done since. We, yeah. we've we've done done since. we yeah. ran it two you, whole times. You remember you remember, this, you remember this year's intro? We shot that on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot. How did I forget about that? Speaking of it, you're locking it out. It's fine. I really liked the uh, Bob Ross intro we did. Was that? Yeah, oh, that was right. Where right. the green? Yeah, yeah. It was, that it was, was nine. Yeah. Yeah, where it was a blank canvas, and then they painted it with green. And as they did that, the green screen revealed the Desert Bus logo yes, behind it. So good. And what so I liked neat. best about that was at the end of that, Graham said, "I didn't even know if that would work." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we auctioned away the painting. This right. is back when we could create spontaneous auctions out of nowhere. Right. <laughs> the Desert Bus theme. Yeah. Yeah. The John Cena uh, meme was very good too. Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't know who John Cena was until mm -hmm. Desert Bus Nine. His name was John Cena. <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> Nick, oh, Nick from gosh. Seattle posted recently a uh, uh, Instagram account. Uh, oh, I'm, I can't remember the exact name, but it's basically just shots of John Cena uh, superimposed onto skateboarders. So it's just like John Cena <laughs> skated like. Uh, Shooting off into the air in, in half pipes in like <laughs> skater poses. I think I it's from, it. from his wrestling days where, where you could get a lot of like uh, good poses. Jump, yeah. jumping poses or, or things with arms. Yeah. That's just like the bottom half, and the rest of the image is just like skaters. It's great. It's so good. I remember after that year for the first three months. I would hear do 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 do, and I was like, "Oh, is that the desert bus?" Song? <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to realize that was the the stinger as well. For yeah. <laughs> yes. His name was John Cena. His name was John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. 